members are present except Sunny. Um, let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, so, with um, some board members have to leave early tonight, so with the we'll, we'll loose quorum because of that. So I'm proposing that we um, amend the agenda to include just items one, two, three, four, five, and eight B. Everything else we would move to a to the next meeting. We need item six too. Oh, item six as well. Okay, so items one two, one through six and eight B. The rest will be moved to the next meeting. Is there a motion to approve an amended agenda? Can make that motion. Second. Motion by Lisa, second by Lynn. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The amended agenda is approved. Um, comments and requests from visitors. Is there anybody in the audience that wishes to speak? Okay, awesome. Um, we'll move right away to the consent agenda. Um, Brad, is there anything that you want to do? Yes, <clears throat> Karen, under um, club status with the fishing, I spoke with um, Greg today and I spoke with Joel to do today. Uh, and there we're, in, we're in agreement to amend their handbook under the um, the the, top, the mission of it is, is perfect. It says we want to include all nine students all through nine through 12. And then item number one underneath that calls for the anglers to find their own captain and, and two person team. And um, that's that's not the inclusive message that they want or what we want. And we want the actual captains of the, of the fishing club, the boat captains and the organizers of it to do, determine those arrangements. It, it's, it's very much like, um, I'll just know the sport that I'm most familiar with, with, with wrestling. So the head coach determines the team that goes out onto them and makes those arrangements for them. And so we want to have that same type of philosophy for the vision. So Greg was, yep, that's not, that was not the intent of that. Um, but so I think we're all in. So we would just be amending that piece of that. So under angler expectations, so yes. I'm looking at page 28, so Correct. you're proposing that under angler expectations, item one, we would just remove that? Just be, it would be removed, yeah. Okay. Um, well, it probably can say something about that there'll be two-person teams and a boat captain, but it's not the responsibility of the anglers to set up their own team. Correct. Okay. Good point. Is, um, so that was just your comment on the consent agenda. Do you have any other things that you no, want to not, 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 okay. not, not consent. Okay, so is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? Does anybody want to pick up anything? Motion by Lynn. Second. Second by Shannon. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The consent agenda is approved. Um, let's see, moving on to Oh, yeah, item six, action items. First up, order of business under action items is the payment to the Cold Spring, Spring Bakery. Um, okay, I'll make a motion to make a payment to Cold Spring Bakery. Uh, just a second. <laughs> and uh, check number 99400 in the amount of $28.14. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Lisa. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Lynn abstains. Motion carries. Levy certification, uh, item 6B. Uh, I'll turn that over to you guys. Sure. I'll give Beth first, first crack at the levy certification. I get first crack at it. OK. Um, this is our preliminary levy certification um, that we always are required to do before September 30th. Um, send it over to the county auditor. Um, generally what happens is we certify the maximum at this point and then that way any changes that MDE does from now until December 17th, whenever our truth in taxation is, um, it captures any changes there. So if there's enrollment um, updates, sometimes they make switches with um, some of the debt 
items that way we capture anything that might change the re recommendation tonight is to certify the maximum um, overall it's about a one and a half percent increase in the levy and it's mostly tied to uh, our enrollment increases so any questions about it um, this three and so actually the one here is the second one so there's a third one that got put out in between the t last Thursday and today so that's why yeah. we definitely need to do the next one because they'll keep sending me notes until yep. they get it right. Yep. Yeah, it's a lot. It's 40 pages worth of, of calculations, so it takes them some time to get it right. Yeah, you know, I recommended in, our, in my report that you certify the max because you simply cannot go back. So if you don't mm -hmm. certify the max, you can't go back and certify the max in December. But you can reduce December. So mm -hmm. I, I, as, as Beth, I highly recommend that you put it. Motion will be certified maximum levy. Proposed levy. I'll second. Uh, motion by Lynn, second by Shannon. Or Lisa? Shannon. Shannon, okay. Um, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Uh, aye. aye. Opposed? Uh, the levy certification uh, for 2018 page 2019 is approved for the maximum. Insurance renewals. Um, <laughs> we have um, our property and liability insurance and our workers' comp insurance um, runs on an October 1st start date. So um, we're renewing our policies. Our agent did go out um, and market this year. So we had four or five come back and EMC was by far the lowest again. Um, it's about, I want to say like a 3% increase over last year's and then that includes adding the um, additional network security we've had a couple of school districts in the state get cyber hacked or attacked where they had their data ransomed and so this is something that in case something like that would ever happen to us we would have a lot more coverage than what we currently have with our EMC so this one is through MSBA I believe that um, Marsha McLennan um, I think it's MSBA. Brad, does that sound right? I feel like they're the ones they got the, the bid for doing this. So this is their like special one that they got for um, MSBA. And so we went, um, and where's my recommendation page? I believe we went with, uh, sorry, the Access Pro. So it was that, it's a very far quote if you're looking at page um, 39. So we get a lot more coverage with that and then we dropped the network coverage we currently have with EMC so switched it out is the plan and then on the workers comp insurance um, SFM um, is a company we've been with for a long time and really happy with them we do have an increase this year and it's all tied to our experience mod um, the experience mod is the this multiplication factor you get based on your claims so we've had a couple bad years of, of pretty high workers comp claims and this last year was better so we'll we should see it go down in the next couple years but so my recommendation is to stick with EMC and SFM I think the actual recommendation is in the agenda of what I'd like you to approve they don't have any questions on any of that I'm assuming uh, the uh, agent did go out and get bids. Through. These were the ones that wanted to bid, or that she would, the agent recommended for any bids, right? Yep, these are the ones that will bid schools, essentially, in Minnesota. I'll make a motion to approve the property and liability insurance with EMC, workers' comp insurance with SFM, and network security insurance with AXIS. Second. Motion by Jason, second by Lisa. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Um, the motion carries. Um, thank you, Beth. Mm -hmm. Band and choir trip. Um, there's a proposed band and choir trip to take place this coming February. Um, you yeah, I, I have invited Mr. Dar here tonight. Joel, you were on the impression that he was going to be here tonight? I think he is planning to, but he probably doesn't know the time. 
may have realized maybe we went faster than with uh, oh, I see where we are ahead of schedule here. Aren't we? And with with the um, variety show, there's a lot going on. So you have in front of you the um, proposal for the band and choir to do their to do their semi or their biannual trip. Um, you see the details on the trip. I did um, speak with both Joel and. Um, Mr. Jensen about the trip. I had answered some questions as well as had a sit down conversation with Mr. Richard on the um, trip. The, it's, I mean, the details of the trip are laid out. Um, you know, the tour group that they're using, um, price, student adult, adult ratio, all of that kind of stuff. Some of the questions that we usually have are have to do with insurance. And so I'm just curious if you know about the insurance. Especially when you're going out of the country. It's a, um, so, so yeah, so this is good me. My, when I took students on trips, it was to Washington, D.C. And um, you know, it's a standard. So students who go on a school-sponsored trip are still covered under our school's insurance. Um, because it's an extension of school. Um, they ride on a bus to a, to a trip to a Well, MSBA the other year had a session on this at the round table. Okay. And there was a person there saying that you needed to have extra coverage or, or to double check with your carrier to make sure that they were covering it when they went out of the country. Um, just because of some, some incidences that have happened in it, I think person that was speaking was from the Duluth School District and they had had some incidents when they sent kids to uh, some place. Yeah. Do you know if our Spanish clubs in the past have taken trips out of country? They yeah. have and we didn't. Um, I did go to our insurance company and ask about it and you can get extra. Um, I think that time it was like $1,200 or $1,300 and they didn't take, we didn't take any extra insurance out at that time. but. It might be something to look into again, and then the question is, do you put that on the trip cost, or do we cover it? I think I'm not as worried about it being there going to the Bahamas versus some other places we might go, but I know that you know, for some years there was questions about terrorism in some places where people were traveling, and um, some students had been injured some, on some school trips. And, just want to make sure we are covered if something would happen. You know, hope everyone's safe. And then the other question I had on this was, um, you know, he in his notes about the comments that this is the most expensive trip they've done. You know, I'm a little worried. I hope we're not, um, you know, making it impossible for some of our students to participate in this just because, you know, it's more expensive than other options that they've done. Joel, can you answer the question on the extent of the um, fundraising that's going to go on for? <coughs> uh, they do have a band booster club, and I met with them last, last Tuesday. Um, they do a malt wagon at the event. They do just some different odds and ends, but I also know that they sell some stuff. So yeah, they'll do a variety of different things. I don't know if they're going to go out to the businesses and ask for donations. So I don't know if they, they do that. They well, they do their... Um, they do a fruit sale. They do... They usually just, do I'm their one sure. raffle or, or their... Um, yeah, there's a ticket raffle. And their card. Their cards. The, the Pretty minimal things, though. It's not going to... Is this, I'm more worried about if all the kids that are in the band and choir really have an option to go when the cost gets up to, what is it, 1300 per person. You know, some kids have relatives that can buy those things and the kids get credit for it. Some people don't. Well, it's a short notice trip. It feels like a short period of time to let it do And here's Mr. Hutter. Okay. Perfect. And there's more.
Hi, oh, Mr. Yes, Sorry, we're, 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 running, we're running highly, highly efficient tonight. Well, I'm, we're I'm just having a discussion, so please. Perfect. About fundraising right now. Okay. Well, I'm glad we're here. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming. Yeah, we were just asking about um, fundraising and kind of the equity piece and our. My concern was you, you made a comment in your notes. I'm assuming you wrote this that this was one of the most expensive ones we've got on. Yes. And I'm just worried about kids being kind of locked out of the possibility of going because they may not be able to do as much fundraising as some of the other kids. Yeah. I don't know what your options are. Could um, uh, the, the first thing I would say on that one is I'm, we've been telling kids for a year and a half. So they've had the two full years to be fundraising and nobody has said anything to us that they have any concerns because knowing we were knowing that this was going to be the trip we were going to go for this more expensive one we were telling them uh telling the kids that this was we were gonna because we looked at doing this two years ago and the zika virus got in the way of, of going down to puerto rico but, and even right then when we had to change plans we were telling them we're going to do either that same kind of go to puerto rico or a cruise or something down there um for this next one so and, and i don't know and if anybody told commented to you that they were having financial issues not more than typical um some of the you know more popular destinations we're finding are the prices are rising and when we were looking last time the cost to go to puerto rico was the same as um, california texas new york washington dc so and i um <coughs> I have a niece in Sartell, they're going to Florida, mm -hmm. going to Disney World, and their price is the same as ours. The caveat too is that, you know, I think I off the top of my head when we looked at like Costa Rica or some of those other ones, it's more <coughs> expensive than, than this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um but but yeah. <coughs> more the most expensive trip for a band. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. this is the one yeah, we've usually tried to keep it uh eight, nine hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. But we, it's also been that way for about a decade. Like yeah, yeah. We've been trying to keep it because obviously the prices have gone up. It sounds like all the kids knew about it. And if there was a student that really wanted to go, they would have been working with you and figuring out a way to do it. And you have not had anybody indicate that they feel that behind because of money. Yes, that's correct. How many kids are in this? <coughs> uh, I'm kind of hoping we get the same amount to um, 50 to 60, maybe a little bit above that, 70, someplace around Last there. trip was a hundred, about a hundred? Okay. Well, that was the last trip, it, it fluctuates. When do they have to make their final commitment? Soon. Mm -hmm. Is it that long? As, as I'm doing this, what I'm doing is needed. I needed to be doing this in May, and I, know I thought about it briefly, and then you know, we're kind of in, in a changeover period, and I, just pushed it back and I apologize that being my fault for being late, later than I needed to be here for this. Um. Yeah, I I mean, I'm personally comfortable with it. I, the only thing that I would say is just to check the insurance piece of it if we want as a district additional insurance. Just a conversation we okay. had before we got here just about having um, sometimes school districts purchase additional insurance for to cover trips like this. Um, there was a talk about it at the school board's convention okay. last year the year the year before and one of the board members from a larger district just said that because of some incidents that have been happening where kids were getting hurt or there was possible terrorism in places the school districts needed to make sure they were covered. I know in the past hasn't the the, the tour guide the company offered like they can purchase they've offered an insurance that uh you could get all your money back if it was canceled. if you if they had to cancel within like three days of the, of the trip commencing but nothing about uh, uh health issues that kind of insurance yeah this is additional liability yeah. insurance they'd be looking at i'm aware of you know, the extra student insurance you can take to mm -hmm. you know get here to you if something comes up have a family member or something like that absolutely yeah. this is the additional okay so what you're looking for tonight is the board's approval of the trip so that you can go back to your students and say yes the trip yeah. is on 
I mean, we can set the fair meeting. for maybe on February 15th, is it, or 16th? Whatever it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Board members, do you have all your questions answered from Mr. Retard? Yes. I'm sorry. That's okay. oh, it's cheated. I came in and talked with him a couple days ago. Yeah, so, to get it no, just I, to see if there are any questions or something. I'm face to face. I haven't had a chance to officially meet him yet. I, I shamelessly asked him if he needed an extra chaperone. How are we? Uh, we've always just asked if there were parents that wanted to go with us. I know one year we had uh, we had 80 that came with us, uh, Mr. Johnson. I, I have no problem having, yeah. have, well, no, having an uh, administrator come with us because then I know where all the hard questions are going if something arises. Yeah. <laughs> it was a shameless question. I did yeah. not say it was right. <laughs> um, I'm fine with it. I would just say, just as long as you guys are comfortable with where the insurance pieces are at, I'm fine with whatever your decision is. But is it, does anybody want to make a motion? To, are there any additional questions? Motion by Lynn. Second. Second by Jason. Um, any further discussion? Hearing none, um, all in favor, please make it by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Or ban trip. Who do I want to talk to for the insurance piece? I'll just work through me and. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, great. Thank you, and good luck tonight with everything. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's move to item that concludes all of six, correct? Yep, so we move to 8B. The superintendent report is that Yeah, so. Bring us through the meeting. Yeah, the first part of the superintendent report is the um, communications plan. You've seen now the final version. Um, I'm not asking for an official um, approval of the board of, of that, just an endorsement, so that we can start communicating out to our, um, our people. And the reason why we don't really need official action on it tonight is we do want the flexibility to be able to, let's say I, I missed a step or we, we find that we're something else, we don't need to go, I really am not looking forward to a you know, two meeting deal where we have to add this box and that arrow Sort of thing. The board endorses it, and then we can move on. Yeah. I think you know it's more of a yeah. document that's a work in progress. So yeah. I think I feel more comfortable endorsing it and allowing me to fix it if it needs to be adjusted anyway. Or if the org charts and flow and responsibilities change. Yep. Anybody opposed to the communications plan? Going out? Does everybody feel comfortable with it? Is there an endorsement for the board? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So we can just take the right consensus. Um, Item two I have tonight is the is a an award that we, we got at our um, BSED meeting um, last week. So I just wanted to, to uh, recognize the school district for their achievement. So the it's a cert certificate of achievement from the Minnesota Department of Education. It's presented to the Recorey Public School District under leadership of Mr. Staska, Superintendent, and Alicia Jimson, um, the Special Education Director. So this award is based off of last year, last school year. For ensuring individual student due process records meet or exceed requirements and are reflective of the de dedication of the administration, school staff, and community, and it is signed September 7th, the date is September 7th, 2018, and signed by Commissioner Casillas. So, Basically, what this award tells us is that our teachers, and our administrators, and our school did an outstanding job on meeting due process. So what that means is we were in compliance. So what, how they got this award is um, each building has files pulled. And, and so when their special education files are pulled, they're gone through and all the I's are, cro are dotted and all the T's are crossed in that paperwork. And as you know, anytime we mess up on due process, it can be a lengthy problem to fix. And so all the files last year were pulled, were in compliance, and it's a, that's a big deal. So I just want to congratulate the district, the administrators, and the teachers and case managers for doing an outstanding job. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, there are two pieces of paper in front of you. Um, one is the... Um, 
update of the homecoming week. So with some rain outs and things last week, things got changed for this week. So Mr. Um, Baumgarten um, provided me with a new list of activities. Each one of you should have a copy of that. So look at those things and see what type of items you can get out um, and uh, support our kids with. And then the second um, piece of paper in front of you is the draft of the goals for the district that are being proposed that we will look at in our October meeting, but this is just a heads up for you. Um, item number one, um, Recorey schools will increase student proficiency by 3% as measured by our MCAs. Again, so we're trying to smart goals. Um, and we, uh, we have some room to go there, and, and so we put that as a goal. Two, um, continued improvement of communication systems for Recorey school district stakeholders to build confidence in the district while increasing student achievement. So, the endorsement of the communications plan tonight is one step in there. Uh, three, continue to implement a fiscally responsible and transparent budget given the uncertainty of legislative action while maintaining the integrity of programs and services offered by our reported schools. So we want to try to keep the best program in front of us, knowing that um, you know student enrollment obviously is a big deal for us to, to be fiscally sound. Um, but should that not happen, then we're planning for and thinking ahead of for those strategies to keep us with our programs going forward. Number four, Recorey Schools will use its resources to provide 21st technology um, to staff and students that will support student achievement and help ensure the opportunity for each student and staff member to expand their learning opportunities. So we have a referendum on the books that supports technology. Um, we want to make sure that that's being used to um, have our students and our staff continue in their learning and then of course support student achievement. And then lastly, the Recorey administrative team will begin the process of data analysis, causes of best practice, and development strategies to ensure equity and access for all students. So those are those are the five overarching and ranging goals that I'm proposing to you for approval in October. And these are coming through your administrative team? These are coming through the administrative team. Okay, that's the end of my report. Okay, well great, that concludes our meeting then. Is there a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Um, motion made by Jason. Second. Second by Shannon, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The meeting is adjourned.